Owning a 1977 Volkswagen van is nothing to brag about. In today's material world, this old vehicle is hardly a status symbol. Yeah, last year I blew a cylinder. Then why is Joe Babcock so proud of this van? And why do so many art galleries want to put it on display? Well, I make artwork out of it. And a lot of people, even as a teaching tool, you see, Joe cut a section of the roof away, added a giant lens, and inside the van, he's created a mini dark room where giant sheets of paper are exposed to whatever the van is parked next to. Yeah, I go all over the place. I've driven across country about four times now with it. even snap photos in San Francisco after last fall's earthquake. And the pictures are all negative images, since he only uses photographic paper and not film. And this isn't the only thing Joe's turned into a pinhole camera. Why, just last year, he saw somebody throwing away an old coffee pot, and he got a stimulating idea. He turned the coffee pot into a camera and took a picture of a coffee pot neon sign. He's also done the same thing to a guitar case and a maple syrup can. So look out, if an object's light tight, Joe will probably turn it into a camera. I took a ammunition can and photographed a war monument with that. Joe's strange artistic obsession hasn't gone unnoticed. He's been mentioned in Newsweek magazine, and right now he's on his way to New York City to display his work in an art gallery. So if you see him, don't forget to wave and say cheese. But look out, someone might think you're nuts waving and talking to an old Volkswagen. I'm John Pertzborn, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Joe was passing through St. Louis on his way to New York. He grew up in South County where his parents still live, but today Joe is a California resident. Yep, to admit that is different. Mm -hmm.